Right, so there's this issue in metahuman animation. Uh, when you animate the face with um, an animation clip, um, and also animate the body with, uh, with like this animation, um, the head and the body get desynchronized, like the head floats. Um, and it's a really re reoccurring problem. Um, hundreds, if not thousands, of developers have had the same issue and I've tried all of the solutions and none of them works, which was like really frustrating. But um, after several hours of uh, debugging shit, I, I managed to find a fix. Uh, so here we go. So first off, um, we're gonna take um, the running part of it and try to apply it here uh, to the face so that the face actually like moves uh, according to the running motion because here's a fun discovery um, the face uh, skeleton actually have like many bones um, th that it shares with, uh, with uh, the, the body mesh uh, the body mesh doesn't have any uh, face bone uh, but that's what we're gonna target right uh, we're gonna find a way to take all of this running motion and of the spine and the shoulders and apply it um, here so that um, when we combine the two animations, the head and also the beginning of, uh, of the neck is exactly at the right place. Right, but how do, how do we do that? Um, let's hide it. Um, well, we're gonna retarget this, an this animation, uh, retarget it to, to the face uh, skeleton. Um, Uh, and when we retarget it to the face uh, skeleton, we're gonna have like uh, the, the running motion. Um, but it doesn't speak yet, but we have like the, 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 the head at the right position and the shoulders that moves and, and, and rotate and shit. Um, but how do we combine it to, to, to the speaking uh, part? Um, well, it's, we have to do two, two things. First off, we have to create a mask. Um, let's put it head. Um, select the head bone and set a value of one inside the mask and propagate this um, one value. And now what we have is, uh, is basically um, like a, a mask that, uh, that we can use to, to switch between the running part and the speaking part of the, of the animation. And to combine them, we will create like an animation blueprint for the face. Um, uh, we're gonna call it speaking and running because that's what the animation is gonna is gonna do. Um, so first off, we have to take like the running part, uh, put it here, um, and we have to. Um, take the speaking part. So if we just plug, um, plug it like this, it's gonna run and not speak, right? Uh, and if we do this, it's gonna um, speak and not run. So we want to use the mask, but how do we do that? Well, there's a node, I never remember the, the name of the node. Uh, yeah, this one. Layer blend per bone. Um, and it's gonna switch between two poses, and we have to um, set the blend mode to blend mask, and set the blend mask to um, head that we created. Right. Um, when we compile, uh, it's gonna speak and run at the same time. Um, so it's amazing. That's exactly what we want. There's one thing missing. Let me show you. So use animation blueprint and select speaking and running. Right, so the shoulder moves and everything's almost at the right position. The thing is when um, Unreal Engine like retargets uh, the animation, it also like reset to zero, like so, so the base weight of the animation. So things get um, um, offset a little bit, um, but it's okay. We can just uh, reset it. Um, find the right value, post the animation to, to, to find it. I know the, this is the one. Um, but
that yeah no you have um, um, a character that, that runs uh, and speak at the same time so we can add it to our scene afterwards um, 